Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of a Bluetooth amp from IEMA. The model number is a handful, but essentially it connects to a speaker, maybe one in your home theater, that doesn't have wireless capabilities and promises to deliver hi-fi quality wireless transmission through Bluetooth. So basically adding Bluetooth capability to a pre-existing speaker that doesn't have it. And the amplification means that you can also increase the volume if the speaker's current volume output is too low for your Liking, and it's also able to drive, let's say, more powerful and larger speakers as well. So it uses Bluetooth version 4.2, not the latest 5.0, but since it isn't a pair like true wireless earbuds, it should be all right. So here's the chip that it uses, it claims to be high performance from TI Texas Instruments. We've got a frequency response range of 20 to 20,000 hertz, and it also claims to have bass and treble control knobs directly built onto the unit. So you can adjust the volume, the bass, and the treble, and kind of fine tune those EQ settings directly from the digital amp. And here's what the setup process looks like, connected to a speaker, and the other side you can connect wirelessly through a laptop, tablet, or smartphone using Bluetooth. Uh, you can also use it in the wired mode if you want to link it directly to a device like a computer or a DVD player. Now it also claims to have Qualcomm's APTX for the Kodak, so it supports low latency, and that's probably what they mean by hi-fi. That means there's not going to be as much of a lag between the video and the audio that you're playing. Although the packaging is very generic, it just says professional digital audio transmit nature music they do specialize in selling amps for all types of devices some of them which are for subwoofers some of them which have the bluetooth on board other ones which don't have the shell they even have a tube style amplifier but this one does not come with wireless bluetooth so it needs to be connected by wire directly to you know the phone whatever is outputting the music and the speaker it has to be all wired on the back compared to these ones here which have an antenna they don't have the tube sticking out of it which is mostly for decorative purposes so inside we have a quick instruction manual of how to set it up in multiple languages. We have just the Bluetooth amplifier itself, which we'll take a closer look at in a moment. We have some of the instruction manuals, and over here there's just the AC adapter, which is pretty large. And lastly there is the antenna to improve the reception. As we take a closer look at the design of the box before discussing the performance, uh, one of the biggest questions that you may have is what's the difference between something like this and one of those cheaper, smaller Bluetooth receivers or adapters? Well, yes, technically those Bluetooth adapters also add wireless capabilities to a headphone or to a speaker that doesn't have Bluetooth. The difference here is really that built-in amp, which allows you to increase the volume beyond what the speaker can probably produce without something like this connected to it, in addition to these fine adjustments for the bass and the treble, which you aren't able to control using one of those smaller, cheaper uh, devices. So anyways, here we have a very sturdy construction. It's made entirely out of aluminum as far as the shell is concerned, so it's quite hefty. The antenna attaches onto this port here, and then down below we can choose between either auxiliary or we can use it in the Bluetooth mode. So if you're in the auxiliary mode, then you would have the audio input directly through the left and right channels as opposed to connecting it from uh, your smartphone for example. So in this mode I would plug the audio in over here and this is audio out the speaker uh, but if I'm in the Bluetooth mode I wouldn't use these two ports I would just connect to this device wirelessly. Over here we have the aforementioned audio out which is also using analog cables left and right channels. There isn't an optical adapter port on this however so if you have something that has kind of that square shape for the port unfortunately it seems like this model will not support it. Here's a quick size comparison with uh, another mini amp that we checked out a few months back, but this one here has a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's meant for portable devices. One thing I want to point out is, as aforementioned, the version that we're looking at today doesn't have an optical nor does it have a auxiliary or standard 3.5 millimeter port for input or output. Uh, it's more meant for the home theater because it has the bass and treble adjustments. Now there is a version that sells for exactly the same price, however it adds a 
standard headphone output, so you can use it to drive larger headphones. However, you get this in lieu of the adjustments for the treble and the bass. So it's really up to your preference for what version you want. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this IEMA wireless Bluetooth amplifier. Overall, I would say that it works pretty well. If you do have a more expensive speaker set that you're trying to turn wireless in a home theater or around the house, this is a great way to do that. Having an amp certainly helps in cases where, again, uh, you need some extra volume to kick in because the source that it's being played back at is too low. It's simple, straightforward, and easy to use and also looks pretty good while performing fairly well. The Bluetooth chip, again, is very consistent. I didn't notice any dropped connections. Everything was very stable and I didn't really have any complaints as far as the audio quality either. Even in the Bluetooth mode, the sound quality doesn't have too much distortion or static, so it still sounds for the most part, fairly hi-fi, although I wouldn't say it's audiophile grade, but it's uh, good enough as far as a wireless transmitter is concerned. So you can learn more details if interested in links down below. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the IEMA Wireless Bluetooth Amplifier.